The Estense Palace, an elegant 18th century villa with a garden that is set in the typical Varese landscape of high naturalistic value and in a cultural context defined as villa of civilization that characterizes the development of Varese in the first half of the 18th century, when a patriciate from the Milan aristocracy chose the hills around the town as a place of holiday and recreation. The palace, today the seat of the municipal administration, stands outside Porta Campagna, one of the six gates of the ancient town, on the outskirts of the medieval and commercial center marked by the Vellone stream, in that small plain enclosed by hills called Castellanze. The building had recently been constructed at the behest of Tommaso Rigoni, an illustrious character from one of the oldest families in town. It was purchased in 1766 by Francesco d'Este III, Duke of Reggio, Modena and Ferrara, at the time administrator of the state of Milan and related to Maria Teresa, Empress of Austria and Governor of Lombardy. The Duke, who had fallen in love with the beauty of Varese a few years earlier, and had been the guest of Marquis Paolo Antonio Menafoglio in his elegant villa on the upper Biumo Hill, chose to build his court here after having asked Maria Teresa for the concession of town and Castellanze as a fiefdom. For various political, financial and diplomatic reasons, the Empress granted the fiefdom in 1765, despite the fact that the people of Varese had enjoyed, since the time of Charles V, the privilege of never being enfioffed. In addition to the villa, the surrounding land was purchased and the renowned architect Giuseppe Antonio Bianchi was assigned to give a new face to the complex and, above all, to structure a magnificent scenographic garden. The frontal view of the palace along Via Sacco is greatly enlarged. Emphasized by light pilasters and white cornices, that slightly modulate the light on the peach-colored pink persigo wall as the Duke wanted it. Three large portals lead to the heavy front portico, getting through wrought iron gates, clearly baroque style. The central one is more refined, marked by two columns on dice placed in the corner, by the cobbles of the upper balcony, and by the clear rear-facing wall that rises up to the attic. The internal façade facing the garden is characterized by play of light and shadow, marked by the five arches of the portico and by the play of plastic relief reaching up to the mixtilinear crowning with sundial and the east eagle. The cause of the building follows the U-shaped layout enclosing the court of honor, defined by elegant balustrades and wrought iron railings with extravagant wavy lines. On the Duke's death, in 1780, the fiefdom collapsed and the property was inherited by his third wife, Teresa d'Arrach, then passed to various families, the Trivulzio, the Robbioni and the Veratti, until the municipality of Varese in 1882, which moved its headquarters here, made the park public. Despite the many transformations, some rooms and spaces inside are still remarkably preserved, such as the Hall of Honor, today the Salone Estense, the Grand Staircase leading to the main floor, the ballroom and music room, today the wedding hall, the current mayor's office, the chapel, which is today the Montoli Hall, and the great park that still amazes visitors today for its beauty and its scenic layout.